It's a subject not many of us know much about, but it's a process that's beginning to attract a lot of attention at the international level. Gasification. It's geared towards reducing greenhouse gas emissions and saving companies millions of dollars. It's also something that's working well at the Tolco Mill in Hef Hefley Creek. So well, in fact, that it's attracting the attention of a Fortune 500 company in the United States that wants to use the technology south of the border. Tanya Cronin explains. These two senior executives from Johnson Controls, one of the largest U.S. Fortune 500 companies and world energy providers, are touring Tolko's Healthly Creek Mill this afternoon, getting their first look at the mill's state-of-the-art gasification plant. We get a chance to uh, apply and make practical, you know, kind of the science and, and technology that's of the 21st century. So to see it in this environment, in the world, real world, just gives us the confidence that uh, this technology is, is right, it's been the right decision. It was only a year and a half ago that BC-based Nextera Energy, which focuses on creating new energy technologies, installed this gasification plant in Kamloops, the first of its kind in the entire province. The technology takes wood byproducts already on site and converts them into clean-burning synthetic gas. That gas replaces up to 40% of the natural gas the mill was using and in turn ends up saving $1.5 million in fuel costs annually and also dramatically reduces greenhouse gas emissions. It's operated extremely well. It's met all of its performance requirements and, uh, and I, know, I know that Tolco wants to replicate this technology at their other mills. And uh, so, I, I mean, from our perspective, we've, uh, we, we think it's performed extremely well. After looking around the world at different companies for the right technology, Johnson Controls finally decided to partner up with Nextera. And with the world striving to go greener, gasification could end up playing a big part in making that happen. Pretty meaningful uh, uh, numbers in terms of both energy savings and greenhouse gas emissions. But the focus now is to expand even further. The two companies have formed an alliance to market the technology to universities in the U.S and eventually right here in BC. The reason? Because universities are one of the biggest power users. There's a lot of opportunities in universities and certainly they have a huge need. Uh, in the United States there's a President's Climate Commitment which 500 colleges have signed up for stating that they're going to make substantial reductions in their greenhouse gases and biomass seems to be a very big way for them to do that. And Johnson Controls have come here today to map out a plan, a plan to develop and build these projects in both the U.S. and Canada. And these projects could end up being worth millions of dollars. Tanya Cronin, CFJC News.